Checks and Balances, presented by Citizen Genius. The U.S. government has three branches, or three parts. These include the legislative branch, led by Congress, the executive branch, led by the President, and the judicial branch, led by the Supreme Court. The Founding Fathers feared giving one person or one group of people too much power, so they created three branches of government in order to separate power. They also created a system known as checks and balances. Checks and balances refers to a system in which each branch has power over the other two in order to prevent one branch from becoming too powerful. In other words, each branch can check the power of the other two to create a balance of power. Let's look at a few examples of how this works. Congress has power over the president because Congress can impeach and remove the president. When the president commits a crime, Congress can formally charge the president and remove him or her from office. The President has power over Congress because the President can veto bills passed by Congress. When the President agrees with a potential law Congress is trying to create, he or she will sign the bill to make it a law. However, the President also has the power to veto the bill to stop it from becoming a law. Congress has power over the Supreme Court because Congress can reject nominees to the Supreme Court. After the President nominates someone to be a justice, the Senate, which is part of Congress, has the power to approve or reject that nominee. The Supreme Court has power over Congress because the Supreme Court can declare laws to be unconstitutional. This means that when Congress creates a law that violates the Constitution, the Supreme Court has the power to take that law away. The President has power over the Supreme Court because the President can pardon convicted criminals. When the court finds someone guilty, the President has the power to excuse that person from punishment for the crime. The Supreme Court has power over the President because the Supreme Court can declare a President's actions to be unconstitutional. When the President does something that violates the Constitution, the Supreme Court has the power to stop him or her. This has been a short overview of Checks and Balances presented by Citizen Genius.